motocross or BMX riding came to prominence in the US during the 1970s. This extreme form of bicycle racing on a motocross style track with expressive obstacles instantly caught the imagination of a teenage generation longing for a new adrenaline rush. Now fully recognized as a sport, BMX riding made its debut at the Olympics last year in Beijing. In the second of our series on the G4S 14 athletes, Transworld Sport traveled to Colombia to play by 10 time BMX Junior World Champion, Mariana Pajon. The sport has become more and more popular. However, before, people here weren't aware of it. If I said, I do BMX, people wouldn't even know what it was. Now they recognize it. They go to the tracks, and more girls are beginning to get involved, because in Colombian culture, girls don't really like BMX. They think it's a man's sport, so they don't dare to practice it. But we're trying to break with that tradition and make BMX accessible to all Colombians. Mariana started BMX riding at just four years old, and by the age of 10, she was already representing her country. She became junior world champion at nine, and since then has won gold at every world championships. Despite 13 dedicated years in the saddle, Mariana's enthusiasm for the sport shows little sign of waning. What I like most about my sport are the jumps. The adrenaline it generates is fantastic. What I also like is that it's an extreme sport, but a professional sport. Also, competing against boys and trying to beat them is also fun. Mariana is from Medellin in the northwest region of the country. Throughout the 80s and 90s, it was home to the infamous drug lord Pablo Escobar. On the back of the Escobar-led crime wave, the city became one of the world's most dangerous places to live. However, in recent years, a government crackdown has returned the city to something approaching normality. Maria's competitive nature is a product of her biological inheritance. Her mother, Claudia, was a swimmer and a national horse riding champion while her father, Carlos Mario, and her brother, Miguel, are competitive racing car drivers. And the baby of the family, Danny, like his sister, is a natural on the BMX. Since birth, she's been crazy. Mariana would try to jump out of her buggy. She would always climb things. I couldn't keep her still. She was very restless. Both parents are dedicated to their daughter's career. At least one of them accompanies her to all events. Mariana appreciates the importance of having her family firmly behind her. I think the family's influence is huge on an athlete, as the support has to be unconditional. They have to encourage you and be around to give you advice. I get a tremendous amount from my family. But it's not just familial support that Mariana relies on. A finely tuned bike is essential to perform well at events, and Jose, the mechanic at her home track, knows her bike inside out. Further support comes from the Colombian Cycling Federation, who advise her on nutrition, look after her medical needs, and travel with her to events. Mariana is also one of the aspiring athletes in the G4S 14 program, which provides support and assistance to 14 young athletes in different parts of the world through to the 2012 Olympics. They're not just a sponsor. They're more like family to me, as they support my sporting ambitions. They also encourage me to strive for academic excellence. They just want to make life easier for me, so I can just go out and perform while they take care of the rest. We noticed from the beginning that G4S were different. Their plan is to support Mariana to the next Olympics, and that's a big commitment. We've been with them now for two years, and it's great because all they're interested in is that Mariana is totally prepared in every aspect for 2012. Mariana, in the 10th grade, has one more year of compulsory schooling to complete. However, she plans to continue her education as she dreams of becoming a doctor. 
but being on the road for such long periods means she has to keep up with her coursework and exams via the internet. The school head, Isabel Cristina Estrada, explains. It's not a problem for us that students are absent for periods as long as they fulfill their academic obligations on their returns. Mariana, apart from being an excellent athlete, is a very responsible and disciplined student. She's one of the best in her class, so it's not difficult for her to go away, then return and be up to speed with her coursework. She's incredible. I would even say that she's too conscientious. However, success comes at a price. Mariana has very little time to spend with her friends and do the things other teenagers like to do. This is something that plays on the mind of her mother. To me, the worry is that she's sacrificing her youth. At her age, it's normal to be going out with your friends and enjoying yourself. However, she lives intensely for her sport, and for that she's had to sacrifice a great deal. And that's something that worries me a bit. But on the other hand, she's achieved many other things. To achieve success, Mariana has a punishing training schedule, which starts in the morning before school and ends in the evening after she's completed her homework. These intense physical workouts are the side of college, but what keep her ahead of the pack. BMX riders need stamina and a strong lower body to master the demanding challenges presented by competition. Her progress is closely watched by coach Jorge Wilson, with whom she's been working since 2002. Mariana always challenges herself. Everything she starts, she has to finish. She never Mariana says no to a training session, no and she never has a problem no with the structure or what we do in training. If you tell que her that she has to get up si no even dice, earlier to complete a session before going to school, or to do extra kilometers a, on a simulator, she'll do it. Para hacer tantos kilómetros se levanta. At only 17, Mariana's achievements are already in the history books. At 10 Junior World Championship goals can be added to nine Latin American championships and eight Pan American titles. And the potential is there for many more, as she mixes it with the best in the senior ranks. However, her career in the sport could have come to an abrupt halt last year when an accident left her with a wrist broken in three places. Thankfully, reports that she would have to retire from the sport proved premature. Mariana made a full recovery and is now back on track to achieve her goal. I think my aspirations are the same as every other athlete. That is, to get to the Olympics and win an Olympic medal for my country. I will try hard to achieve it, and I won't stop until I have. I love my sport, and I will carry on doing it until I can't keep going anymore.